Remind me to not upset you in the future. Yeah, I may. Carla, that was brilliant. She's been doing my head in. Someone should have done that weeks ago. Yeah, I nearly slapped her myself. Everyone's got the breaking point, haven't they? Yeah, what does she mean about Robert not knowing all she'd done for him? Beats me. I gave up trying to understand that woman a long time ago. Oh, come on, let's get a drink. Good idea. Yeah, take the taste away. Oh, she's probably just mouthing off like she always is. So what did you mean if I knew everything you'd done for me? Excuse me, but Carla has just about broken my jaw and it's me you're laying into. I want an answer. Well, it's Carla. You should be having a go at, not me. Oh, you've done more than enough of that for both of us these last few weeks. Come on! What happened, Tracy? What did you do? Nothing. Oh, so you just thought you'd say something that you didn't mean? No! We have got everything we wanted. Why do you want to unpick it all? I don't know, Robert. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I believe you. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, come on, should we make a move? <laughs> oh, no way am I letting her spoil my evening. What's going on in there? Do you think I should go in? No, no, leave him to it. You said about everything you'd done for me. You did do something, didn't you? Was it Nick? <laughs> Nick? Do you think I'd soil myself with that? Well, it was something. What? <laughs> Tracy, I won't ask All again. All right! You're... Right. The 10K that I got for you, it wasn't a business loan. Why well, am I not surprised? Look, do you want to hear this or not? There was a guy that I used to know from when I had the shop. You know, he had a load of dodgy laptops. He didn't know how to offload them, so I sold them for him and we split the profits. Who'd you sell them to? Does it matter? What? A bloke. Mick. Look, I can give you his number. Why don't you tell me straight well, away when I, I ask? Because I couldn't bear you having a go at me like this. I mean, do you blame me? Look, I promise you that I will never do something like this again. Look, we have to... Uh... We have to agree that from now on, we have two different empires. I get it. And if, if you're insecure about me and Leanne, we just work together, right? I'd, I'd never cheat on you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know that. Then let's start trying to act like grown-ups, shall we? Of course, it's not the first time she's been out with a chef. Really? No. She went out with a bloke called Kieran. All over him she was while his restaurant was going well. And it all went south. She told him to clear his bank account before his business partner found out. And did he? No. He got cold feet and confessed. Then she nearly ended up inside. Can we talk about something else for five seconds? OK. <laughs> Fine by me. Oh, hello. Oh, she does not look happy. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, me. All sorted? Uh, yeah, for now. So, how did you stop Tracy trying to kill Carla, then? It wasn't easy. So what's happening? We've agreed to keep our separate interests separate. Apologies for the upset. No, it's not your fault. So, dare we ask what the big secret was? Oh, it's just the usual Tracy bluster. Anyone on the go? Thanks. 